and welcome everybody to Enter the Bunker. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Jonathan Baha'i. I am the co-host of Enter the Bunker and also the owner of the 64,000 square foot nuclear bunker, which you have entered into. And I am also married with two children and I am a total crypto geek is one of the things you'll find me talking about a lot. But I also like to talk about the building bricks here in the bunker. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about that today. And here joining me today is Kelly Cadell. Um, I also am a co-host on the show, but one thing I can't say is I don't own the bunker, but I wish I did. And uh, yeah, so we're going to talk today about sacrifice, but in the meantime, make sure you follow us on TikTok right now. Right, <laughs> right now. <laughs> Go to TikTok at Enter the Bunker. We are sharing all kinds of clips from around the bunker as we are, uh, as our crew is doing their thing here every day. Uh, you'll be able to get little sneak peeks of some things here. They like to tell some jokes sometimes. And then, of course, they're going to help you with the building brick this week of sacrifice. sacrifice. Yes. Jinx. So, <laughs> so uh, sacrifice is something that's really important, and we're going to get into that today. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, if, for those of you who are watching us from different channels, we highly recommend you join us on YouTube today. Uh, so at YouTube.com is where we're streaming from live right now. Uh, that's where our chat is at. So if you want to join us in the chat, be sure to go there right now. Right now. Um, so maybe while you're joining us in that chat, I will start off with saying what the definition of sacrifice is. Let's hear it. All right. A sacrifice is a loss or something you give up, usually for the sake of a better cause. A better cause. Eh, sometimes. Sometimes? What do you think? All the time. Well, it's not just a cause, it's, it's for giving up something that's greater. Right. Right? Sometimes a cause can be something that's considered greater, right? Yeah. So you, uh, you, give up the, you give up one thing to be able to gain something greater. So like if you're playing like chess, for example, yeah. there's the idea of like sacrifice the pawn sort of thing, okay. right? And so when you do that, because you only have so many people, or not people, <laughs> players in the chessboard, uh, you end up giving up some of them in order to ultimately be able to win the game, yep. right? So that's really what sacrifice is all about. You can almost think of it like playing chess. Uh, you're giving up a little something to be able to, in the bigger picture, gain a greater reward. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. But the truth is, it's but pretty difficult. But when you say the word sacrifice, it's kind of scary sounding. Well, because I think the first thing that people... I feel like it comes to their mind. All I think of when it, the first thing I think of actually when I, when I hear people talk about sacrifice, it's like, when do we slay the goat and sacrifice it to the gods and all this kind of stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and there's this kind of thing that, like, from all the movies, it's like, you know, we will have the human sacrifice and all this kind of stuff right. where people are going to lose their lives. I think it's sacrifice <laughs> Brandon. Hey. <laughs> Just joking. It's been an ongoing joke in the bunker this past week. So. Um, all right, so tell us, you guys, what you what sacrifice means to you. Also, we're doing um, a challenge. I'll get to that soon. We're going to read a quote before that. But yeah, let us know what sacrifice means to you. And I just want to kind of give a shout out to people that are here. So we got Luke and Stewie. We have Bruce, Juicy Jocelyn, Carl's, <laughs> Alfredo. Hey, Alfredo. Thanks for joining us from TikTok. Um, all right, so <laughs> he's... Juicy Jocelyn. <laughs> you like that one. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so yeah, let us know what sacrifice means to you. We're going to read a quote, and then we'll come back to the chat and see what you guys said. So quote of the day is... Here we go. Quote of the day is coming to you live from Jonathan, and it's upside down. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So sorry for the upside down uh, logo, everybody. But the quote of the day is, as you can see on the screen... If you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want will be the sacrifice. Ooh. Yes. Jubert Botha, venture builder, angel investor. An angel investor? Yeah, do you know what an angel investor is? No, I do not. So angel investors are often referred to as angels because they will invest in things that are at their very beginnings, right. where most other investors will just say, eh, come back to me when you're XYZ. Eh, let me know when you've made your first million. Eh, let me know when you got customers, right? An angel investor will actually like 
if you're right at the ideal level and you need to do some kind of building yeah. and you have a plan, they will come in then and actually back you up, okay. right? So an angel investors are pretty much very high risk investors that will get behind Why projects. are they called angel investors though? Well, because if it wasn't for them, nobody would ever help them. True. So it's like, it's like, a, like the sent angels. from heaven, they finally came, right? right. Sort of thing, right? right? So that's why they're called angel investors. But um, yeah, so if you don't want to, sac if you don't want, if you don't sacrifice what you want, what you want will be the sacrifice. Chat, true, false. Have you experienced this in your lifetime? Do you think that this is something that uh, applies to something that's happening in your life? Tell us your story. Let us know what you think uh, about sacrifices that you've made or you didn't make, and now what you really wanted becomes the sacrifice. Is that, some, is that a story that you had to share? Let us know in the chat, or send it to us, and we'd, be lo we'd love to be able to share it in another, another show. Luke says, a relationship. Sacrifice a relationship? Sacrifice a relationship. I don't know. Elaborate, Luke. Yeah, Elaborate. Luke, please, tell us more. Sounds like a, a juicy story. Ah, but <laughs> All right, well, you guys are, if you let us know anything like that, we also have a challenge of the week this week. And that is, so this week, our team is going to be practicing a sacrifice. So we're giving up two things um, to help better ourselves. So when I thought sacrifice, it kind of was scary to me, like I said, but I wanted to like add something into my life. So instead, but I know sacrifice, we got to pick two things to take out. So what I did to better myself was I took out sugary drinks and take out. So sugary drinks, I want to um, drink more water. So I figured that would be a good thing. And no takeout. Um, really, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I picked that one. Maybe save some money in the pocketbook, I guess. Empty the belly, though. Empty belly with no takeout. <laughs> <laughs> so because you don't do takeout, you're now going to stop eating? Now Is I'm that what you're starve. saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can have meals delivered to the bunker, FYI. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to let us know what your, pick one or two things that you think that you can sacrifice this week and do it till Friday. So sacrifice it till Friday, end of day. And then, like I said, I'm probably going to be having takeout for breakfast on Saturday morning. Um, what are your two sacrifices, Jonathan? The two sacrifices I came up with were sugar and burgers. Burgers. Yes, I am not going to have any burgers over the course of the next week, and I'm not gonna consume anything uh, with processed sugar. Added sugar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so for example, if I have some fruit which has natural sugar, that's okay, but it's the processed sugar that's the real killer. Um, I think I'm gonna take that out and uh, make that happen. That'll be my sacrifice for this week. And the reason for that, because that is what I'm giving up, it's something I'm giving up. Yeah. Uh, the greater gain is better health, I should have more energy, yep. and I should lose some weight, which is something that is a goal of mine right now, uh, because we're all still in lockdown. Oh. Summer's coming. Yeah, and summer's summer coming. Bod. Yeah, well, I've. I've it's been 20 years since I've had a summer bot, so that's not <laughs> happening. But truth is, is that it's, some, it's giving up a little something to be able to gain something greater. So those are the two things that I'm going to do. The burger part, it's because I do tend to eat out a lot, especially these days, only because um, like, family's been really busy with some stuff. It's so, so delicious. It's difficult to be able to have the time to cook. So giving that up would be just... Really, I could see that as like where I go days without food, so that would probably kill me. So let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, Luke says, da, 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 da. so I'm not getting into that details on that one, but I've never purposely sacrificed a relationship. That's what Luke says. Sometimes it might be good to purposely sacrifice a relationship. You never know. And everyone's talking about McDonald's, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> So what are some of the other sacrifices happening here today uh, um, with the team? So through, with, throughout our team, I'm just, I won't name, read the names or anything, but we got social media after work and swearing. I guess what? That's, that's from Brandon. Oh, my gosh. And she says, I won't name any names, but she says his name. I know. <laughs> Throwing under the bus. Um, okay, we also have sugar, sugar in general, and TV. That's from Emily. Good one. Abigail says takeout and watching live streams. So she does a lot of... Uh, 
online gaming and watching live streams and stuff like that, so she doesn't want to watch that. Obviously not this live stream, but... <coughs> and Matt says, donairs and movies. And yes, guys, he puts donair sauce on everything. All right. So yeah, we want you to do this challenge with us. Let us know the two things that you, one or two things that you want to sacrifice this week, just until Friday. It's four days, guys. We can do it. We can do it. Um, so I think over the course of this week, what's going to happen on TikTok is the team's going to be sharing some of their sacrifices as they go along. Yeah. Uh, so go to TikTok and go to at Enter the Bunker and join us there. Yeah. Uh, so you can follow and be able to see what happens over the course of the week. Also, uh, whatever you are going to join us uh, this weekend with, with Sacrifice, be sure to post a TikTok. We might share it. Uh, we'll probably follow you, and we'll probably want to duet you and do all kinds of fun things. Yeah, we so do. go to TikTok and at Enter the Bunker, and we'll be happy to have you join us in our journey of Sacrifice this week to make that building brick part of your life. Do it. Do it. Boom. All right. So um, Luke says he says he's going to sacrifice swearing. Good one, Luke. That was a good. We did that before. Well, kind of. It was we, a we, challenge. I, <laughs> I did that before. Um, yeah, it is. It's going to be hard, but I believe in you, Luke. So let us know on Friday. Join us Friday, and you'll have to tell us how your progress went. Yep. Okay, so today is How To Tuesday, so let's get on with how to, how to practice sacrifice. So uh, when it comes to practicing sacrifice, the how to's of it really begins with focusing on the we and not the me. That's the way you do it. So uh, adopting a we and not for me mentality is necessary to be successful in the practice of sacrifice. Uh, this can be done with, sorry, this can be two people or a nation. Simply consider others before you act. You will see that the golden rule in many cultures are defined by the characteristics of this core value. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. That's right? a good way to put that So one, think about sure. other people before you think of yourself. And so it becomes much easier to be able to be practiced in the act of sacrificing. But think about yourself first. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I don't know. Don't, isn't that what they tell you? Like, in order for you to do good in life, you need to worry about yourself first and then, like, get your, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? No, I don't. You need to take care of yourself so that you're happy before you go and worry about others. Yes. But you can still do little things. In I don't know. I'm just trying to say, take care of yourself. <laughs> Think in we and not, think in we and not me. Yeah. So do the opposite of what Kelly's telling you about. <laughs> Then you're good. All right, so no act is too small. Remember this. Okay. No act is too small. No act. Step up and support other members of your community. All right? Uh, take time to hold the door. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And be sure you extend your arm really far when you do it so you're social distancing at the same time. Oh, right? good one. Yeah. And give your umbrella to someone else who is in a downpour. If you see someone stuck in the rain, just go help them out. Or grab their hand and just start dancing. What? Dancing in the rain. Like, if that's like a... <laughs> that's, yeah, I think you're stuck in joy. Oh, right. Well, you're, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's, that's where you're thinking about you, you again, where you're like, I love dancing in the rain. The other person's <laughs> like, I'm sucking back, get me out of here. <laughs> right? So, uh, donate clothes you no longer need, which is something that I, I myself and my family do on a regular basis uh, because... Again, the sacrifice is that, you know, this is something you don't need. These are something that, that other people can use. Give it up. Don't keep holding on to it. Let it go. And then, yeah, it just, uh, it just makes room for, for new things to come into your life. Right? So true. Uh, there are no acts of sacrifice that are too small. So uh, be sure to volunteer your time. Right? Uh, when it comes to uh, all kinds of good causes in the world, and there's a lot of good causes that need help these days, uh, you want to, uh, it's not necessarily about what you're going to be getting out of it for yourself. It's about what you're going to be able to give. So uh, maybe you don't want to have uh, money and possessions to sacrifice, but you can always give up a little bit of time, right? Because time, time in your life is actually more valuable than money. 
It is. Right? Or possessions. Oh, 100%. So uh, the fact that you are giving that up is actually very valuable. And I think in our society, particularly North America, we tend to not really uh, acknowledge that too well. Uh, I think that uh, you know, it's always money first and time second, but the truth is, is that time is just way more valuable. I think our culture is changing, though, in that, in that regard, yeah. slowly but surely. It's true. Yeah. Uh, there are many groups of great, uh, that really appreciate the gesture, and now uh, you can even do some volunteering virtually. There's all kinds of opportunities right in your computer to be able to help online with all kinds of communities that are looking for ways to be able to reach out and help other people, join a community like this one, That's what I mean. I was actually <laughs> and be thinking. able to help out and be able to help out with uh, some of the things you want to hear. Get a mo become a moderator in a forum. Uh, be able to, uh, you know, just uh, get into chats and, and, and share uh, stories on what's going on. These are all just little things that, you know, giving a little bit of yourself, it goes a long way to making more room for something bigger to happen in your life. Right. Blake says supporting uh, mental, support people going through mental health issues. That's giving people your time when you're supporting them. Yeah, and all you really need to do oftentimes is just like listen. say that you're there to listen. Yeah, listen. You know what's, a, you know what, interestingly enough, now that I say that, the last couple of days, yeah. I've seen more posts like that in public groups in Facebook than I've ever seen. Yeah. Like recently. Yeah, I uh, believe People it. are just like, hey, uh, I, know, I know some people are having a tough time out there. Just like, you know, I'm, I'm here to listen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so just like hit me up. And I'm seeing this really, like, like I said, I've never seen that kind of. There's a copy and paste going around too. Oh, is that? Yeah. Like, is, that is that happening? Yeah. Okay. About it. Like just being there for you. It talks about um, losing a friend and stuff and like how, and anyways, it's copy and paste and it says, I want eight friends on my Facebook to post this. And I noticed a lot of people have been copy and pasting and posting it. Like, yeah. yeah. Which is good. There's always somebody you can reach out to. Make the sacrifice. Make the sacrifice. Okay. All right. Um, so, so, so. Do you think that these would work well for you and for you, Chad? Like these, these how-tos that we did, do you think they'd work well? Well, just before this, this, this stream, yeah. I was actually uh, in on a practice call yeah. for a community, completely volunteered my time right. to be a volunteer uh, to help with the organization of uh, an upcoming uh, voting process they're going to be they're going to be putting on. It's called Eden, uh, Eden OS, as a matter of fact, and it's part of the EOS community. Okay. We're getting into cryptocurrencies now. <laughs> so, so EOS uh, was founded by Dan Larimer. Um, so he's a friend of mine, and so when he actually started to come out with this new uh, governance system that he called Eden, yep. uh, that's based on his book, which he just recently wrote. Uh, they, he was basically looking for volunteers to help out, and I was like, sure, however I can help. Cool. It's an interesting, it's, a, it's, it's really, they're really trying to bring a community that's become completely uh, disjointed to come together, Good. right? And so I'm volunteering my time to help out with that effort, and hopefully we can help some people to connect and better communicate, yeah. and maybe even make a little bit of history in the process. Yeah. Right, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah, and it's good that you're volunteering your time. Yeah. and we can thank you guys for volunteering your time and watching this live today, <laughs> <laughs> and like commenting and helping each other. You guys are all chatting together, so hey, you're, yeah, you're helping you each other. You sacrifice 10, 20 minutes a day yeah. to spend time with us yeah. to make that building brick in your life, and what's the result? Something bigger. You get into a better lifestyle. You get into making your making your your life better overall. Right. Yeah, that's super exciting. Um, all right, so make sure you follow us on TikTok at Enter the Bunker. We have lots of cool things. Our team is hilarious. We'll be posting some good stuff, some information, informational, and some funny facts. So yeah, follow us at our TikTok at Enter the Bunker. Yeah. So chat. I gave a lot of examples of ways that you can be able to uh, ways that you can. I gave you examples of ways you can sacrifice. Of those examples, which one of those do you feel would work best for you? So there was um, focus on we, not me. Yep. No act is too small. Yep. And volunteer your time. That's right. So chat, let us know of those examples, are there any of those that you can apply to your life today for this next week to join us uh, as we go through the week of sacrifice and sacrificing something? to be able to gain something greater in our lives. Let us know in the chat. Yeah, 
let us know. Um, I'm sure we'll be having some posts go up on social media here too, so you guys can, those of you who uh, said, said stuff that they want to sacrifice, make sure you comment on our, on our Instagram post or our TikTok or whatever we post it on, we'll find out eventually. Um, but yeah, comment on there so we can hold you accountable and we can hold you accountable. So when you tune in tomorrow on Friday, we'll be like, hey, Stu, how are you doing with that sacrifice? So yeah, comment on our social and let us know. Yay. Okay, uh, so Alfredo yep. says, focus on the we and not the me. That, yeah, I like the volunteer your time one too. Yeah, and it's a tough one for some people because you know how it is, like mm -hmm. when, when you have all kinds of things from your job to your family to having to do this and that, yeah. it's difficult to be able to find the time, especially now, a lot of it has to be done virtually, right? So, it's so true, yeah. Yeah, so it's actually should, I say it's harder, but actually it should be a little easier if you do it virtually, right? You should be Depending able to. Depending on who you are. Yeah, but now that it's online, I mean, a lot of it, I mean, you could do that from home. You could do it from wherever you have your computer. Sometimes you can do it right from wherever your phone is, Yeah. right? Yeah. So you can do it in between whatever you're doing. So it's just a matter of you making the decision to be a part of that. So it might as well be a part of it. You might as well be. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for sacrificing your time today. Yes. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Don't forget to follow our TikTok at Enter the Bunker. And we'll see what we're up to tomorrow. Yes. See you all tomorrow. And see you on TikTok at Enter the Bunker. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Sacrifice!